journey to Le Mans 2016 begins in the English countryside for one driver. The farmer's son, who, alongside Nico Hulkenberg and Earl Bamber, drove the number 19 Porsche 919 to overall victory in last year's race. Nick Tandy now heads back to the theatre of dreams for Porsche, this time racing in the GTE Pro Class. The Le Mans 24 Hours is the biggest race of our season for, for a reason. It's the most prestigious, it's, it's probably the most historic. It's the one that all the manufacturers want to win and it's, it's the one that all the drivers want to win. Last year was just the most amazing week and weekend of my career. That place will always be super special to me, so uh, getting ready to, for the drive down there and um, yeah, looking forward to it again. Aside from Le Mans, Tandy's spending a lot of time in the US. After helping teammate Patrick Pelier to the US IMSA Series title in 2015 with an epic winning drive through the rear of Petty Le Mans, this year, Tandy is racing the full season in North America. There's a lot of good manufacturers and good competition in, in the Inter WeatherTech Series this year, so it's tough. I don't think we're going to have it quite as easy come the end of the year when we had a good run like last year, but uh, we had a good result in, in Long Beach um, where our car was working really well and we had a bit of luck along the way, but we came out with a victory. It's a long season, we're still in it, and it's endurance racing, and I drive a Porsche, so we've always got a chance. The win at Long Beach boards well for the rest of the season, but for now, the focus is Le Mans and the return to the scene of his triumph. From our point of view, we're in a car that's not in the full season, so we don't have to worry about looking for points. The one aim from Porsche for the two additional ends of the cars are to win the race. We know it's going to be tough. There's a lot of good cars out there this year. The competition should be really good. So I'm looking forward to a good race, but of course, the aim is to come back with another trophy. Porsche and Audi's agreement not to run a third prototype car at this year's race has denied Tandy the chance to defend his overall title. But victory in GTE Pro is the target and he hopes to return home with another trophy. It's tough to know that we're going, you know, I won't be able to defend the, the overall race victory that we, we got last year, but at the same time I'm so thankful that we had that chance to take that victory last year. Having one trophy sat in my house to look at every day is nice, but uh, I'm not too sure how many people have won back-to-back -back at the event in two different classes, so that is definitely the one that's on the list.